Hey guys, what is up? Avi here. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Selenium in Python. Let's get started. Now, if you guys have seen my GUI automation with Py Auto GUI video, Selenium works very similar, except it's just a lot more effective at what it does. Selenium is a module in Python that lets you automate scripts, do a whole bunch of stuff with your web browser, and honestly, it is fascinating. Now, this video is going to be a very brief introduction to Selenium. We're going to cover how to install it, how to click, and how to enter text. Three very basic commands with Selenium. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you guys will have a basic understanding of how Selenium works. First thing first is installing Selenium. What you guys are going to be doing is you're going to go to PyCharm, Preferences, Project Interpreter, and then go ahead and add in Selenium. Again, this might work. I've had a couple of errors with this, but if you go ahead and just click Selenium, I'll lowercase this a bit, install package, then you should go ahead and have Selenium installed, package Selenium installed successfully. However, if that, if that did not work and you got an error, go to your terminal. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Let me refresh. You're going to say sudo. Sudo is very important here. Pip3 or pip, depending on whatever version of Python you have. Normally, pip should work. Install Selenium. Okay. So that is the first task. It's going to ask for your password. You're going to go ahead and put in your password. And then after you do that, it's going to say it's already been old or disabled, whatever requirement already satisfied. Once you have that done, the second thing is to go ahead and install a web driver. Selenium needs a web driver to work with your browser. Now, I have one installed already, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install your very own. What you're going to do is you're going to open a new tab in your Chrome or any browser that you're using and search for just Selenium. Okay. The link that you're going to click is the first link, seleniumhq.org. Inside of this, we're going to go to download and then scroll down for something known as third party browser drivers. Okay. Every browser that we have, we need a driver to use Selenium with it. Now I'm using Google Chrome guys, as you can see. So I'm going to install the Google Chrome driver. If you guys are using Mozilla, Opera, Edge, whatever, just install whichever driver you need. Go ahead and select it. If you scroll down, latest release, Chrome driver 2.34. Awesome job. Now we see over here, latest release, Chrome driver 2.34. Go ahead and choose whichever version you're using, Linux, Mac, Windows, doesn't really matter, or actually it does depending on the platform that you have. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to go ahead and just select this, and it's going to install in my downloads folder. Now I already have my Chrome driver right over here, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now, as you guys do this, I'm going to go ahead and just pitch something that I've been working on. I do have a Python course coming up. It's all about automation. It's going to cover Selenium, uh, web scraping, debugging, regular expressions, Excel, word manipulation, a whole bunch of stuff. I hope you guys are excited. I'll definitely let you guys know when it is live, but definitely stay tuned for a brand new Python course coming out soon. Anyways, I'm back. All right, so we have Selenium installed. That was our driver. Go ahead and unzip it. Here is our Chrome driver, 11.5 MB. Fantastic. We're going to go back to PyCharm. And if you go to your Python console, I'm going to go ahead and expand this. If you run from Selenium, import web driver. If this command works, you know that Selenium has been installed. All right. So go ahead and run that. If it works, fantastic. If it doesn't, Stack Overflow is your best help. All right. So make sure this works. Make sure you have Chrome driver sitting somewhere that you know. The second thing or the second sort of function we're going to run is going to be setting up our browser. So we're going to go ahead and say browser is equal to web driver, whoops, web driver dot your actual web browser. So we installed it for Chrome guys. I'm going to say web driver dot Chrome inside the brackets. If you go ahead and run this, it works for some people, but inside the brackets, I think you have to specify the path of your web driver. So if you're on a Mac guys, you're going to say users slash your username slash downloads slash Chrome driver. Again, if you're on a Windows machine, you're probably going to have something like C colon double backslash something double backslash double backslash. Remember guys, Windows is double backslash Mac is forward slash command V. Let's get it back. Hit enter. As soon as you run this command, guys, you should see a new Chrome window appear at the very bottom of your screen. You guys can't see it because I set the dimensions of my Camtasia a bit different, but go ahead and just see this. Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. So this tells you that Selenium is working. This is our browser. Now, if you want to open a link with Selenium, we're going to go ahead and say browser, browser dot, and then we're going to go ahead and say get, pass in a URL. The URL that I'm actually going to pass in is going to be the seleniumhq.org URL. So browser.get 
passin http colon whack whack www.seleniumhq.org awesome hit enter and immediately we're gonna see um give it a second it's this one right over here selenium web browser has been open so i'm gonna close that in the background to see this side by side guys i'm just gonna go ahead and minimize this hopefully that makes it easier for you guys to take a look at what's going on and you guys can see the live results as it happens let me go ahead and minimize this as well fantastic so this is our window guys we have our code on our left and the window on our right anything we write over here will automatically update on the right hand side now the next thing that we're gonna be working on guys is finding elements on the browser so if you go ahead and say browser dot find element browser dot whoops 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 browser dot find there are multiple different find element functions you can do by id by class name by link text by partial link text stuff like that we're going to go ahead and use a link text function to get the link we're talking about over here download so go ahead and pass in download that returns us a selenium web driver object we're going to go ahead and store that so let's go ahead and get that back again browser to find element by link text download and we're going to go ahead and say lm is equal to browser to find element by link text download fantastic so this will go ahead and store this download object inside of our lm variable now there's multiple different things we can do you can access different attributes of the lm property you can say lm dot text you can say lm dot maybe get an attribute lm dot get attribute we want the href of it what's the actual link we get it right over here you can access various attributes like that or you can also click on that let's say we want to click on the download button so we already have the element over here we just have to call lm dot click lm dot click there we go downloads appear fantastic so that is the simplest way to click you find an element you specify it you say lm dot click and selenium will click on that object let's say we want to go back to projects if you want to go back to projects we'll say lm is equal to browser dot find element by link text pass in projects and then we're going to say lm dot click there we go and we're back to projects fantastic so as you can see it's very very straightforward the last thing that we're covering in this video guys is searching how do we put in text into a field as you guys can see over here this is our search box we're going to try to figure out how to put some text inside of this so let's go ahead and select this right click and inspect we're trying to look at the property or the id of this so as you can see it's an input type is equal to text id is equal to q once we have the id name we just have to ac access it so search bar is equal to browser dot find element by id id of q so now we have the search bar and to enter text into any sort of input or text field you have to use the command the command is going to be give me one second over here send keys search bar dot send keys will allow us to populate that text field with whatever we want so i'm going to go ahead and search for just download something simple hit enter and immediately download appears so send keys allows us to simulate the keyboard typing click simulates a user clicking if you guys remember my python gui automation video we could do the exact same thing with pi auto gui except with selenium the better thing is we can access specific um, html elements and we don't have to worry about the x and y coordinate of various things so this is a lot lot better for automation in browsers now once we have this entered let's say we want to go ahead and hit the enter key we can say search bar dot send keys we need to access the specific special key of enter to do that we need to import one extra thing guys that extra thing is going to be from selenium from selenium dot web driver dot common dot keys we're going to import keys okay once we have the special keys imported we can say search bar dot send keys and then pass in keys dot enter fantastic as you can see we got keys that enter um i accidentally screwed up there guys there's not supposed to be quotation marks it's just supposed to be keys dot enter my bad but if you go ahead and hit enter like this the enter key will be simulated and it searches with google custom search awesome so that is selenium in a nutshell guys i know i might have rushed this a bit but hopefully all of this made sense selenium again allows for automation in web browsers what that means is i can run python scripts i can go to web pages i can fill out forms i can click on elements i can fill up text fields stuff like that in this video we covered three main things 
We understood how to find elements using the find element function. We understood how to click on elements by using the click function. And we understood how to send text or put text in fields by using the send keys function. Now all the special keys like up, down, left, right, delete, escape, all of them can be accessed by importing this and just saying keys are up, keys, keys are down, keys that escape, stuff like that. Anyways, fantastic job, guys. Thanks so much for listening. Hopefully, Selenium made sense to you. It's a lot of fun. Play around with it. Write your own scripts. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.